My name is Adrian Gomez and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a library uh, that you need it to be upgraded but you don't know the timeline of when it's going to be upgraded. So for this example I just uh, created a new uh, project, an empty project, and I'm going to upgrade the Flurry uh, plugin. So you see the plugin here, I have it under plugins in the build settings, and then under um, main I'm just calling it uh, with one of my keys and then I just print the event provider and I and I build this uh, offline and I launch the app and as you could see here uh, in the Android device monitor that it says that uh, the plugin is 1.53 and that's using SDK 11.4.0 and um, if I go to the Yahoo support page, uh, that was released uh, October 2018, and I start scrolling up. Um, you see that uh, on March of last year, they updated it, and it says information to comply with the Play Store. So to me, this is important. Uh, if you keep on going up, you could also see that they removed a whole bunch of APIs in version 12. And so I tried to avoid uh, upgrading it higher than than is necessary. And especially when I see something like this where they removed a whole bunch of APIs. So for this example, I'm just going to update it to 11.6. So the first thing you need to do is go into um, application support. This is on a Mac. This is under users, Adrian Gomez, library, application support. And then I'm going to go into Corona. And uh, you're going to see something here that's called build cache. You're going to go into Android. I already did it before just to make sure that it worked and you're going to see all the plugins that it downloaded for it to build and you're going to take this is the flurry plugin uh, and I'm going to open it up and then it's going to have a Grindle file Gradle file and it's going to have the plugin so I'm going to take those two items I'm just going to copy it I'm going to place it in my project under resources. Now, if you're upgrading more than one plugin, then you have to merge all the, the corona.gradle files. But in this case, I'm only upgrading one plugin. So here's my project, and then I go into Android resources and the corona.gradle. And then you see it says here 11.4, and I want to go up to 11.6. So I change that, I save it, then I go into build settings, and I'm going to comment this out because I don't want it to try to include um, both plugins. And I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to build. And while it's doing that, I'm going to clear the monitor.
Okay, so now it's copying it to the device. It's been copied. And now I'm going to launch it. And as you see, it now says that the plugin is still the same version because we haven't changed the plugin. Basically, just copied it from a folder to another. But now the Flurry version is 11.6.0. Uh, which uh, makes me compliant with Google and it fired off the event flurry. And that's it for this video. Um, I would do a second video, probably not tonight, where I show you how to do the same thing with iOS, although with iOS it's slightly more complicated. Thank you. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so I have my own URL.